Hello, welcome to this Photoshop CS6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to explore more of the 3D options in CS6. This is Photoshop CS6 Extended. You will need the extended version to follow on to this tutorial. So, as I say, we're going to cover some more of the basic options um, in this program for 3D. First thing we're going to cover is depth of field. Um, so I've opened up this document. I'm going to first turn it into a 3D postcard. To do that, you come to 3D, New Mesh from Layer, Postcard, and that turns it into a flat 3D object. You can demonstrate this by getting our Orbit tool and moving it around like so. Let's put it to the side like that, and come over to our 3D Properties panel, which is over here. I've also got the 3D panel out and you come down here and you'll have depth of field or DOF as it's sometimes referred to. Now the depth refers to the amount of blur that we apply so let's put that onto one and the distance determines whereabouts on that 3D object the blur is so if I move it up you can see that the blur is quite close to us here if I take it back down you can see that the blur moves towards the furthest point of that 3D object. Um, so you can see how you can get some nice effects from that. Let's move on. Uh, I've got a document open. It's 1000 by 1000 pixels and I've created a new layer. I'm going to leave the new layer blank. I'm going to get the gradient tool. Now Photoshop allows you to create a 3D object um, from a depth map. Now basically to create a depth map you need to apply um, a gradient or some colour to a layer. Um, now the best way to explain this is to think that the 3D object will be based on the level of grey within that depth map. So. I'm going to create a gradient. I'm going to make it black, white, black. And I'm going to get a linear gradient and I'm going to hold down shift and just apply it vertically down this document. Now, if I then come to 3D new mesh depth map plane, and this is a single plane you'll see it will bend this layer depending on the levels of grey in that depth map. So where it's white you can see it in this bend here um, here, and where it's black you can see there's not been much bending at all. So basically you can create a two-sided plane so that would be, well let's do it same as before but there will be two sides to it or you can create a cylinder and a sphere which will probably you can also you could do this without actually having anything on a layer create shapes so we can come to mesh presets and you can create a cube or you can create any of the um, different options here. Let's go for a soda can. So there we have our soda can. Now let's stick with this soda can and let's change up some of the properties. Let's say we wanted to add a reflection or an environment, maybe some shine and uh, maybe some writing on it. So how do we do that? Well, if we come to the 3D panel and come down to where it says soda which is the name of the object you can see it's made up of two materials there's the cap which is this part on top and on the bottom and you can see that there's the label which is all around so it's the um, side of the soda can let's stay on let's go to cap material and we can come down to the diffuse or indeed into the layers panel and here it says cap material we can double click on that, It'll open that, let's just fill that with black, alt delete 
click on the X to close it, save it yes and it's turned our caps black. So the same goes for the label material we can double click on the label material underneath the 3D layer in the layers panel to open up that. Now we want to add 